You guys don't really know the top down. Uh, I can't speak today. Unity top down 2D RPG tutorial. And last episode, we did the GUI for our shop and the being able to purchase um, uh, things for our shop. Let's have a look at our player. He has no money, I believe. Yeah, we need to give him just $100. So we added the ability to go and purchase items from a shop, and that can be whatever you want and it adds it to our player's inventory. We're going to clean that up soon and make it so it stacks because when you do it now, what it's going to do is when you buy it, you see how it stacks. It doesn't stack. We're going to make it stack in probably next episode. But in today's episode, we're going to start doing um, HUD or GUI or heads up display or whatever you want to call it. So first, we're going to start with a health. So we want the bar to be 60 in height, but yeah, I'll show you how we're gonna do this in a sec. So we want it to be 60 in height, and I'm just gonna say 250 in width, and that should give us a nice bar. And in Photoshop, if you right-click this and go Gradient Tool, and up here, we're just gonna change this stop to be a a red like. Oh. You find a nice red, <laughs> a red like that, and in this one we want it just to be a darker red, a bit more like that. We press OK, OK, and from here, uh, actually, change, make sure it's that. Oh, we could try this. Okay, so this one, and from here I'm going to draw it down, like so, and we have ourselves a bar. That, that, that can be a health bar. So if we save this, um, go into your assets folder, um, resources, two seconds, sorry about that. Um, in your, uh, we might just make a new folder called HUD. And inside that we're just going to have health bar. And if we create a new one, a new folder uh, file and instead of being we're going to make it 100 high and then I'm just going to make it um, 320 width so what, what we're going to do is we're going to draw the outline so as a just to see what we're, how, how we're going to draw right up we're going to have that there and on the background we're going to delete the background and put a new layer above it and we're going to get a brush tool pencil and we're going to if you haven't got your square brushes you click this little thing here you come down and you change it to square brushes we want a uh, a five pixel brush and then we want to set this to white uh, even a dark gray might be nice. So 292929. Two nine, two nine. And then we just come up and draw around as so. I'll be back when I've done that. <laughs> okay guys, I'm back and what I've done is I just drew a heart just to add to the detail. <laughs> um I'll just put that up a little. So once you've done that you can move the red layer and then that'll be your box for your health so if we save this as a png and health bar and then we're just going to call it health bar outer and that'll be fine we're going to create a new and i'm just going to say 60 by a 60 by 60 and all we want in this one is just a uh make this 292929 again we go into ellipse tool and make the f um, the fill be two nine two nine two nine. Um, actually, no, the fill can't be two nine. Uh, the stroke two nine, and then we make the fill um, a goldish color. We'll just make it fully yellow for now, I suppose, or a, uh, a orangey yellow color and then we want to draw a perfect circle 
So a 50, uh, make, make sure your stroke width is only about one point. So you create a 50 by 50. Even then you could probably put the um, stroke up a little bit to probably about that. And then if we right click that, rasterize layer. And then we're just gonna do some quick drawing. <laughs> not much, because again, I'm not that good just to change the effect of what the coin looks like. So we get a darker color, put it on the underside of the coin, and then we get a, a lighter color. And we put it on the upper side of the coin, just to give it that small little 3D effect, as you can see, sort of. Again, I am not an artist, so <laughs> I'm sorry about that. So as you can see, and then we can just get a, a, a black, and if we change our brush to be about 59%, we can put in a dollar sign. <laughs> or we can just get a text tool. Change this to about that. Copy that. Press OK. Get our text tool. Go in here and just do a dollar sign. That is a bit big. Now you can just position that where we like. So that will be our coin to show us how much money we have. We save that as um, a coin image. And that'll be fine. And that's all that I believe we're going to need for now. Okay, so if we go into our code and then our um, we create a new folder and we call it HUD and we open that up and we want to uh, create a new C -sharp script and we're going to call it HUD controller. And then if we open that up, we should be fine. Okay. So for this one, we want a public player. I'm just going to call it this player. Then we're going to have a void on GUI. And then void health. And void money. Okay, so what are we going to do? <laughs> Up here we want um, three textures, so a public texture health bar, public texture health bar outer, public texture coin, and we can also do a public GUI skin. GUI skin and on GUI we can just do a GUI dot skin is equal to GUI skin okay so to start off with we want to draw our health bar outer so we do a um, GUI dot um, draw texture I believe Yep. and we just want to do a new rect and then we can do it screen dot height the screen dot height take 10 uh, sorry screen dot width we can just make this uh, 20 and then screen dot height take 20 and then the width will be how big do we make it 250 and the height can be 100 and then for this one we do health bar outer All right. um, quickly if you go to your resources and then uh, sorry uh, make sure there's a comma there so if you go to your resources and then you go to your HUD 
we want all of these instead of being a sprite we just make it a GUI and then I just like to change these just because that's what I do <laughs> so if we go to our player and we add our HUD controller onto our player we can then for the GUI skin we can give it the main GUI skin for two seconds I'll be back sorry about that I just had some <coughs> I just had some business I had to do with okay so in our HUD we add our coin image there our health bar there and our health bar out of there and for this player we can just drag the player script right there click apply and when we click play you should see in the bottom left our health bar gets drawn um, um, for height we have 100 so rather than take 100 uh, take 20 you can make it take 120 and then that should draw 20 pixels up more than what we need as you can see is the right I have no clue um, it's 320 sorry um, just change this value to 320 that should make it easier for us yeah there we go okay so the next part that we need to do is draw our health bar which we should really draw I think under so GUI dot draw texture it's going to be a new rect and then it's going to be 20 screen dot width take um, 80 because it's 60 high and it needs to be um, 20 up from the bottom and then for width what we're going to do is um, a, a, a math clamp so we're going to alright sorry about that if you just quickly go to our entity class and if we have a pro public int max health and we're only really going to need this on the player but it's just there because we might in the future need it for um, boss classes when we want to show their health when we're fighting them so next thing we're going to do is here we want to create a float percentage is equal to um, 250 because that was the width of our health bar times this player dot health divided by max uh, this player dot max health and that'll just get us a percentage of our, our width it's hard to explain but um, the width of our thing times how much health divided by the max health it's pretty much all you really need to know. So next we're gonna do a GUI dot draw texture, a new rect, and we're gonna do so rather than twenty, if you go into Photoshop, imagine twenty is here. So we need to draw it at um whatever this pixel is, so fifty six. Alright, because twenty plus thirty six is fifty six. They want to do screen dot height take um, eighty. I want to say uh, I'd like to say sorry, um, but again we can check this. So we can try a hundred actually. Take a hundred, and then um, the width is going to be percentage, and then we want the height to be sixty. And then we can just do a health bar. So we save that, we click play, and nothing's drawn. <laughs> um, Alright, because on player, we need to set his max health to be 100. Whereabouts is it? Max health 100. Up here, I click apply, then we click play. And you'll see we have a health bar, which is one pixel over, which we can fix that right now. So rather than 56, we just make it 55. So now we click play. And we have a health bar. Now we wait for the enemies to come and attack us, and it looks like they took our health all straight away, which they haven't. We have 99 health. 
it just isn't showing. Uh, that is an error. I'll pick in a second. Firstly, let's just um copy this into here, and instead of um, putting this in on GUI, I'd like to put it in the update function. So let's try that and just see what happens. Um, remove that part, delete that, and up here we want to make a float up a public, uh, private float percentage percentage. Alright, perfect. Now we click play. And, ah, oh, sorry about that. Um, in here we just wanna, sorry, on, on GY we just wanna do health. So we click play. We see you have our health function. Enemies come and attack us. And the same thing happens. I'll be back in a second. Okay, after long consideration, I've decided to go back to the old way of doing it. So, if you just do a math f dot clamp, and then so we need a value, a minimum, and a maximum for this. And I'll explain what this function does in just a sec. So this player dot health, and then zero and two hundred and fifty. And if we click play, uh, if we come and see, you'll see. Um, You'll see um, this should work. So sorry about all those Facebook messages. Um, it didn't quite work. Two seconds. Let me figure this out. Uh, I've had my blank. I haven't worked with. C sharp in ages. Um, so if we always know that our player's value is going to be 100, if you just do times 2.5f, then that will make it um, clamp between 250. Actually, wait. Yeah, that, that should work. So we click play. Yeah, you see our player's health. They will come and attack us, and you see it gets taken down. Slowly but surely, he gets taken down, and we can attack them. And yeah. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, that's our health, and then we also want to draw our money. What we can also do is um, actually no, that'd be fine. So gui dot draw texture new rect, and we just want to draw this at twenty twenty. And it's going to be how big is our coin? It's going to be 60 by 60. And this is going to be the coin. Right? And then we can just do a GUI.label. And we can just do um, new rect. And then 120. Uh, so this one just do 200. And then 60. And we can just say. Um, um, this player dot money. Um, if you just do it before that, a dollar sign, and then a plus, and this player dot money, then that will draw our money. Uh, that will draw our money. So we go into Unity, click play, and you see we have our money at the top left. We have our coin. We have our health, we can attack people, they can attack us, we can lose our health when they attack us. Um, we press E to visit the shop, and it takes away from our money. And, yeah. Okay, that's been this episode. Uh -huh. We're getting back down to shorter episodes than usual. I've been Storm, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.